Welcome, Greed Aid, to yet another class session. How are we doing today? I am happy to know that you're all doing well. Thank you. I am, I am doing well myself. Thank you so much for asking. Now, uh, we've been looking at uh, figures of speech, yes? No. Just before we even start our session and, you know, get into our lesson, I, I want us to reason a little bit. What is it that we looked um, we looked at in previous lessons? Anyone remember? Which figures of speech did we look at? All right, so we looked at puns. Mm -hmm. And what again? Irony, beautiful. And what did we see about a pun? What did we see about it? It is a play on words. Awesome. And how about irony? What did we say about an irony? Yes, so when the reality of something is really different to its expectation. Awesome job. All right, so we are going to get right into this, our session. So I want for us to know, as per usual, we get our laptop charger, our phone charger, whatever it is that you need, your books, your pens, whatever it is you need for this session, because we are going to get started so i'm giving us about uh 15 seconds yes get settled and we are ready to get into this all right so let's go i'm going to share with you my screen so we're able to view our objectives for this session so by the end of this session i think the screen is coming up all right so by the end of this session you should be able to define hyperbole you should be able to identify how hyperbole are used in our writing and you should be able to read examples of hyperbole and correctly identify which part is being exaggerated all right so those are our objectives for this session All right, so where is that? Let me stop sharing that screen. Now, those are the objectives that we will be focusing on, yes? So what I want for us to do, get a clean sheet of paper, or just get a, a, a sheet of paper, yes? Now, I'm going to set my timer on. I think this should just take us about two minutes. So let me get my time as per usual. Now, I want for you to go ahead. Let me stop the time so I don't cheat your time. I want for you to go ahead and tell me what is it when we talk about exaggerate, to exaggerate, what does it mean? So now I'm starting the time. When we talk about exaggeration, what is it that we're talking about to exaggerate? So write down your response on the paper. All right, we're finished, just within 30 seconds. Some of us are still working. All right, awesome, so you're finished, yes? So what I want for you to do, keep your response, yes? Keep your response. So now you are going to raise your hand so you're going to raise your hand when you hear a sentence utilizing a exaggeration. Are we ready? So remember, you're going to raise your hand once you hear the sentence actually utilizes the use of exaggeration. So let's go. I waited a long time to be picked up from school. I waited a long time to be picked up from school. All right, I'm not seeing any hand raise. How about I waited an eternity to be picked up from school? I waited an eternity to be picked up from school. Okay, I'm seeing hand raise. 
Danielle, Shikori, Elizabeth. All right, everyone is raising their hands. How about waiting is as boring as a speech? Waiting is as boring as a speech. No hand raise there. And the time is up. So we are finished. Uh, we have completed that in time. Awesome. So it means we have a feel of what it means um, in terms of exaggeration. Yes? Awesome. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show a PowerPoint. Now, this should just take us about five minutes. So you're going to respond accordingly. Right? So let me share my screen again with you. So let me set my timer on for five minutes. And then we're going to share the screen. All right, so looking at hyperboles, right? So you're going to explain, let me put it in presenters mode. You're going to explain the meaning of the following exaggerations. I nearly died laughing. I was hopping mad. I tried a thousand times. His feet were as big as a barge. Write your meanings. is about three three minutes and 30 seconds so then I'm gonna skip from here so what is uh, hyperbole yes so it is a figure of speech, an exaggeration or overstatement used for emphasis. And you see the examples are given. I nearly died laughing. My dad had a cow when he saw my grades. I said that a million times. Now, you're going to read each item below, and if the item contains hyperbole, 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 you're going to write H in the blank, and if it does not contain the hyperbole, then you're going to write N. So let's go. Let me check the time. So we have just about two minutes.
And our time is up. Yes. We have just about 23 seconds. So I think our time is up now. So let's go. Awesome. All right. How how do we feel about that uh, task there? That little mini activity. Did we master it? We're comfortable. It was fun. Okay. All right. It had you thinking. Awesome. So I'm going to share with you a video clipping. Now, what I want for us to do, you have to pay attention, right? So you're going to pay attention to the video clip that I'm about to show um, to you. So just a moment, I'm going to share my screen with you again so we're able to take note of this of video clipping here. All right, I think my screen is coming up lovely. What is hyperbole? Hyperbole is deliberate exaggeration for emphasis or comedy. So with hyperbole, the literal meaning is not the intended meaning. Here are some easy examples. I've got a million things to do. Now clearly you don't have a million things to do. It's an exaggeration for emphasis. I could eat a scabby horse. You've lost a ton of weight. Your mum is going to have a fit when she sees that tattoo. Well, she's not literally going to have a fit. It's exaggeration for comedy or emphasis. Here are some real life examples of hyperbole. My mother worked her fingers to the bone trying to provide for me and my brother. Well, that's an exaggeration. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Quote by Marilyn Monroe, the actress. You can always count on them to do the right thing after they've tried everything else. Quote by Prime Minister Winston Churchill about Americans. Sorry, Americans. Now, quite often, hyperbole is presented in the form of a simile. Now, a simile makes a comparison by using the word like or as. Lee's arms were like strands of cotton hanging from his T-shirt. So this is an hyperbolic simile. Now we have videos on similes and metaphors. Now a metaphor asserts that something is a thing that it literally isn't. So his cigar was a smoldering zeppelin that assured no intrusion into his personal space. Now his cigar clearly was not literally a smoldering zeppelin. That's an example of hyperbole. It's a hyperbolic metaphor. Why should you care about hyperbole? Well, hyperbole can be used to convey a message, an opinion or emotion in an interesting or witty way. You can also use hyperbole to influence your audience. So if you use exaggeration to emphasize something, it shows your bias. It presents them with a viewpoint. It drags them to your way of thinking. Now, hyperbole is obviously not meant to be taken literally, but it's meant to convey a truth. It's a little like cartooning. Much of it is satire. Hyperbole is more common in everyday speech and verse, like in poetry and songs, than it is in business writing. But it does have some utility in business writing, particularly in advertising. Now remember this example, Carlsberg, probably the best lager in the world. Now the word probably makes it look like it's being modest, but the best lager in the world, that's quite some claim. And the whole point is that it's 
exaggeration for emphasis. It takes you to 15 out of 10. And the chance of you coming back to, say, 2 out of 10 for your assessment of Carlsberg is quite a jump. Probably the lowest score you'll come down to, having seen that hyperbole, is, say, a 7 out of 10. Carlsberg will take that 7 out of 10. They've taken you far right in order that you don't come back too far. That's how useful hyperbole can be. Of interest, in Denmark, where Carlsberg is from, that slogan was not allowed. And they said, probably the best lager in town, because hyperbole was not allowed in Danish advertising. So here's a summary. Hyperbole. Use it to convey your message in an interesting or witty way. Use it to divulge your sentiment towards an issue. Use it to influence your readers towards your position. Take them past your position with some exaggeration so that they bounce back to something looking like your position. That's all. Be sure to check out some of our other videos on grammarbox.com. Right. So I trust that you were paying attention there to hyperbole, right? You were paying attention to the video clipping there. So what have we gathered from hyperbole? What have we gathered from that video there? Now, it is safe to say that hyperbole is deliberate uh, ex exaggeration, right? So for emphasis, uh, writers use it, right? Especially for comedy. So hyperbole is really definite or deliberate exaggeration for emphasis. And there are, you know, various examples in which we're able to think of. And some of them are really common among us, right? So for example, are we able to think of any of the examples? No, yes? Let's say you have lost a ton of weight. How many times have you heard someone say, um, you've lost a ton of weight? Yes? No one really lost a ton of weight. It's just that you're exaggerating. Another example would have been, I've got a million things to do. Your mom is going to have a fit when she sees that tattoo. I could eat a scabby horse. And if you realize that example was even uh, shown in the video clipping, right? Now, with hyperbole, it allows you to convey your message in an interesting or witty manner. Any questions? Any concerns? Yes, Daniel. So, yes, it does. It really um, allows your message to be interesting. So, in a little witty manner there, right? So, it divulges your sentiment towards an issue. And it also, as was stated early on, that it influenced your readers towards your position. Yes? So we have to take note of that for sure. Now, I probably, I want for you to write this. Let me just share it, my screen. When we talk about I probably, it comes from the Greek or the Greek word meaning excess. Maybe I should share that with you. So let me get my screen on sharing. When we talk about hyperbole, right? It comes from the Greek word. All right, I think my screen is sharing. So when we talk about, so let me write it here. Ensure that you take note of this, right? So it comes from the Greek word. From The 
Greek, that's G R E E K. And it means what? Which means excess so take note of that c e s s so take off that information there so i probably comes from the greek the greek word which means excess yes so i want for you to bear that in mind so there are other examples in which we're able to think of. There are other examples, yes? So some other examples that we're able to think of are some of the common ones rather that are shared. Could be, I've told you to clean your rooms a million times. And most of us would, would, would be familiar with this, especially when, you know, mommy or daddy is, you know, cleaning the house and your room is a mess. And she reminds you that you're supposed to clean your, your room. Maybe she say it about 10 times. But here, because she, you know, the right is here, exager exaggerating, right? So they use a million times to show emphasis there. Now, it was so cold. I saw a polar bear wearing hats and a jacket. <laughs> that one is funny. Yes. I am so hungry. I could eat a horse. I have a million things to do today. I think I use this line a lot. Because sometimes you're so, you know, crowded and overloaded with work and what else to do? Yes? All you can say is that I think I have a million things to do. Any of us are familiar with that line? Okay, Shikori. Yeah, okay, your mommy used that um, line there. How about I had a ton of homework? I think most of us would know about that one. Yes? Because when you get homework, you have to, you know, you cannot let them pile up. But sometimes, you know, you have to do what you have to do, right? So maybe you have a ton of um, assignments to get done. So do we understand when we talk about hyperbole, what it really is? Any questions about this? Any concerns? So one thing I want to remind us again, that a simple conversation or a speech you know sometimes when we listen to some songs most writers they tend to use it yes so uh i probably really add emphasis so whether it's a simple conversation or it's a speech or as i said a song um it can be brought out the use of the i probably can be brought out in in, in those yes Sometimes we just exaggerate and we're going on and on and on, right? So any questions? Are we able now to do an activity? All right, awesome. So I'm giving us just about five minutes to wrap this up, right? So let me get my timer on so we're able to get this activity out of the way. So let's go. Oh, my screen is not yet sharing. Let me just caption this just a moment. All right, here we go. So you're answering these questions, 10 of them, right?
sure the cameras. All right, so we have just about two minutes to go, right? So we have just about 40 seconds to wrap it up. Yes? Let's see who is going to get all of them correct. is the ending what was our score anybody score 10 out of 10 eight nine awesome awesome all right so what we're going to do you're going to do an assignment for me yes let me stop sharing this screen with you so for your assignment what you're going to do are you listening Danielle all right, so you're going to write five hyperbolic sentences, right? So just as how we've been practicing and, and, and going over and, and do exercises, you're going to write five hyperbolic sentences for me, all right? So again, when we talk about hyperbole, we're really yeah, like deliberately exaggerating, right? Do we have any questions, any concerns? And we look at various examples, right? You have lost a ton of weight. I have a million things to do, right? So do we have any questions, any concerns? Okay, since there are no questions, no concerns, it was a pleasure being here with you today. We are going to say bye for now.